Hello Aries, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. This is going to be your intuitive reading for the month of March. Okay, I cuss in my videos. If that offends you, go ahead and click off. I don't read in a traditional manner. If that offends you, go ahead and click off. Um, this is general, so it's obviously not going to resonate with everyone. But if I resonate with you and you would like a personal reading, you can reach me at the links in the description box below. There are three ways to donate, three ways to reach me. Um, all readings are done by donation and a donation is required in order to receive a reading. However, the amount is completely up to you. So let's get into it. In meditation, I did see you um, conquering something, Aries. You do conquer something and you sort of claim your place. You claim your... They actually showed you sticking a flag in the ground. Um, it's like you claim your... You claim what's yours, what you've conquered. I also see you cutting a lot of things out, okay? So we have this King of Fire energy here, um, the first card out representing you, Aries, okay? A lot of action that you've already done or are continuing to do. Remember, energy is fluid, so a little bit before, a little bit after. This is the reading for March, but I do feel like you've come a long way, perhaps um, from the beginning of 2019 or maybe even the last part of 2018. But you're really standing in your power, in your king and queen energy and... Um, claiming what's yours, what you've conquered, what you've cut out. You seem to be very proud here. You've worked very hard. You've worked very hard. Up and down, high and low. I feel like you've done a lot of inner work as well as outside work. It's possible that you've cut things out, but also people, maybe jobs, could be a number of things, but you've worked very hard to get where you're at for this new start, right? For this new sense of freedom, like I made it, I did it. And you sort of are starting to get this balance, if you haven't already, between the masculine and the feminine within you, right? And you understand that everything that you've gone through isn't time wasted. Whatever you had to cut out, it's not time wasted. You use your intuition to do so and you'll use your intuition to go forward. Everything that you've learned from this point, you will take it and go forward. You're all the wiser for it with that owl there. Also, there's an owl, a black cat, a spider web, and she's holding like a little mojo bag. So you realize you have the power within you, you know, you've been lucky you, or you may be on what feels like a lucky streak. It's not luck at all. It's not luck at all. It's you and your wisdom and your intuition. It is the web that you are weaving for yourself here down here with this spider and this web. You are understanding that you are creating your reality and you're owning that. And I think it's beautiful. From there, you come into this Seven of Cups energy, which we're in Pisces energy. And this is such a Pisces energy, right? This Seven of Cups. You're dreaming. You have options. You have choices. And you're allowing yourself to go there. You're allowing your intuition to sort of guide you like it maybe never has before. Maybe you've never trusted it in this way before. But you're flowing and you're really using that mind's eye. Right? You do come up against a choice, but you have several. You have several with that seven of cups energy, that seven of water. And you make this choice, yeah, with that serpent holding that torch there. This is a whole new transformation. You've transformed. And you are in the middle of transformation as well.
It looks like you're going very strong in the month of March. And, I mean, you should be proud of yourself because it looks like you've worked very hard. It looks like you've worked very hard. I'm not going to take those. Ten of Cups in reverse. Yeah, you weren't being fulfilled. This is why you had to walk away. This is why you had to climb. And then stake your claim. Own it. Page of Pentacles. You have a new focus. Once you get up that hill and you claim this, you have a new focus and a new youthful energy. It's a page on a page. You're more grounded, but at the same time, you're able to go more into your intuition, mind's eye, and dream state. Page of Cups in reverse flew out with Eight of Wands and Ten of Swords. Yeah. This happened very fast. It's almost like you were waiting for something. You were waiting for someone to offer you something, perhaps an apology or admit their wrongs. Or you've been waiting for a long time for this, I feel like. You were very focused on something that you didn't end up getting. And it was like, finally, when you had that breakthrough, you realize I'm never going to get that from that person or from that job or from that situation. And I just got to move forward. And that's exactly what you did with this eight of ones energy. You moved forward very rapidly. Whether that's you actually relocated and traveled somewhere or just moved on from people and cut people out with this ten of swords energy, it probably was not easy. It probably was not easy and came with a great deal of suffering, but it's it's ending now. And you understand your options. With this Nine of Swords in reverse, after the Ten of Swords, it's like you're not even... Whatever was happening before with this Ten of Cups in reverse, it was very stressful for you. And it's like, I can't be bothered by that anymore. This was a long time coming. You worked a long and hard for this, and you worked long and hard on this, whatever this was. If this was a relationship, if this was a job, um, if this was a friendship, a family, whatever this was, if this was you, if this was just you trying to find you or come into your own um, or a new way of life, a new lifestyle, you worked very hard. And it was very stressful for you at one point and, and unfulfilling. And you're just not going to be bothered with that anymore. Yeah. The full to clarify the zero, the choice card. This is a whole new journey. And you go forward um, knowing that you have choices and your possibilities and you dream and you allow your intuition to sort of guide you in a way that you never have before. I'm getting a very strong, like, well, you know, Aries, of course, is a very strong, like, take charge. Not arrogant, but what I don't, not arrogant. Well, some Aries are, but that's not, that's not even the word I'm looking for, but very um, confident, maybe. Confident. And it's like you're owning this. You're owning this reality that you're making for yourself. Finally, it's like I am responsible for my life. And I'm not going to be bothered with things that don't serve me anymore. Attraction. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. You attract romantic love by enjoying this moment fully. And I feel like you're able to do that now more than ever because you've put down all of this deception. You've put down all of this pain and suffering. You've moved forward. You've conquered things. You've cut things out. You've cut a lot of the things out that were giving you a lot of stress and then you end with this full energy. It's like just this fresh air and, and no worries. It's like, I don't know where I'm going, but it's got to be better than where I came from. Yeah, new love. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. 
for the month of March. <clears throat> or it could be, if this is a relationship, if this is resonating as a relationship with you, it could be that you worked long and hard to fix this relationship. Not everybody will have walked away, but you will have walked away from the things that used to be. You will have cut things out that were no longer serving you. And so the new love could be with the same person in a new way, a fresh new start. But for many of you, you have walked away and closed that chapter because there was quite a bit of deception and it just was not fulfilling. It just wasn't a match if this is resonating as a, as a relationship for you. Yeah, it's cleanup time. It's cleanup time. And that's a number six. What's well, number 15? Reducing to six, which is the number of attraction. And you have a few cards here, out here that have to do with attraction. A powerful energy shift. No doubt. It really has been or will be for you. Remember, energy is fluid. But you've undergone some serious, serious, and that's a number 10, reduces to one, the one and the zero. Beautiful, Aries. Beautiful. You've gone through it. But you didn't, it's not just like you fell into it. I mean, you consciously went through this and you worked very hard. Receive healing. Receive healing. A lot of people are healing right now. And that's a number one. You are definitely done with whatever was not in your best interest. With all of these ones and zeros. Barriers. You've broken through those for sure. You have broken through those for sure. And that is a number 13, which is a number four. So you're finding your solid foundation. Like I said, in meditation, when I saw you stake that flag, when you claimed your place, you conquered. You have conquered. You have broken down the barriers. Whatever was there that was holding you back, you have cut it away. And you are in a time of healing. Some of the most painful things are in the past. And you just you just won't be bothered with it. You're just not going to be bothered with it. The Queen of Wands followed by the Death card. I'm telling you, King of Wands, Queen of Wands, Followed by the death. You are letting things go. From the past, letting things die. It's a major transformation and energy shift for you. With the two of cups in reverse. Whatever that thing was that wasn't serving you, whatever that partnership was, if it was a partnership to alcohol or drugs or a partnership to an actual person, a relationship or a partnership um, in a business, um, a, a, a friendship, whatever this was, you're letting it die and you're taking your power back. And I love the fact that so many of your cards at the beginning come with this, I'm owning it. I'm not going to put the blame or the responsibility on anyone else. Whatever's happened, happened. You're very in this. I had a part in this. Therefore, I need to cut it out. And I choose to go forward and create my own reality for the better. I love this. I love this um, sort of responsible, like, 
ownership of this reading that you have here, Aries. With the judgment card. Yeah, choices have been made. Lessons have been learned. Healing is definitely happening. You're definitely breaking free of these shackles, right? You're definitely breaking free. You're finding where your heart is. If your heart was in a bad place before, you had ill desires or ill ill intentions, I feel like you've really gone within and noticed this about yourself. And not only that, but you've owned it. Beautiful, beautiful. With the Empress and the Three of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And the Justice card. Wow. I mean, this is, I couldn't, this is a beautiful reading, Aries. Beautiful. I mean, you are seriously coming into balance and getting rid of, you know, karma and working towards your new abundance. The, the mother of all, again, birthing your own reality your own world your own life you know that you're abundant you know that you are co-creator you know that you've worked hard to get where you're at and you're not going to let it go to waste the month of march is looking amazing for you so that's what i have for you aries i love you very much and i will see you next month